Hello, and welcome to Section 4, Asynchronous Programming. In this section, we will learn asynchronous programming, which is a very important programming technique in JavaScript and Node.js. We will look at why Node can achieve a very high I.O. performance through the event loop. Then, we will tap into callback functions and the error first pattern. Finally, we will learn the basics of async.js and promises. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with the event loop. In this video, we are going to take a look at the single threaded concurrency model of node.js, which is based on non blocking IO operations. We will also learn how to set delays in a node program. Asynchronous programming is a paradigm in which the flow of the program is determined by events, for example, mouse clicks, key presses, and incoming requests. Typically in a computer system, input and output are the most expensive operations. The system needs to wait for the I.O. operations to be complete, and hence, it's called blocking I.O. or synchronous I.O. They involve waiting time, which is usually the performance bottleneck of the system. We all know that Node is a very high-performance server. What makes Node.js so popular and different from others is that it uses event-based programming model and non-blocking I.O. operations at its heart. Node takes an approach that serves all the requests from a single thread known as the event loop. When Node receives a request from a client, it will put the request into an event queue the event loop runs indefinitely to retrieve a request in the event queue. In one case, if the request doesn't involve a blocking I.O. operation, Node will simply process and prepare the response and send it back to the client. In another case, if the request requires blocking I.O. operation, Node will delegate it to a worker thread in ThreadPool to work on the blocking I.O. operation. The blocking I.O. operation may be associated with a callback function. When the blocking I.O. operation is complete, the worker thread will prepare the response and send it back to event loop, which then runs the callback function and sends the response back to the client. Therefore, the main program is not blocked by the I.O. operations. So, Node keeps a single threaded event loop for our code, and everything else runs in parallel. That's the secret why Node has such a high I.O. performance. Go to the terminal, create a new project folder, 4.1, and change to it. Run npm in it. We simply accept all the defaults. Switch to Sublime Text and open the project folder that we've just created. Create a new file called index.js. We're going to make a program to test the asynchronous nature of Node. Type in console.log, the first statement. Make another. Make the third one. Run the program. It seems that the program statements run in sequence. Node comes with a function called setTimeout, which can delay the execution of a piece of program code. The first parameter is a wrapper of the code to be delayed, and the second parameter is the time to be delayed in milliseconds. Let's apply it to the second console.log statement with a delay of 2 seconds. Run the code again. The behavior of the program is different. We have the first and third statement displayed before the second statements. Why? Because we added a delay to the second statement. The second statement is now a blocking operation, and the first and the third are not. The event loop simply executes our code asynchronously and so the first and third non-blocking code run without waiting. And then after two seconds, the second statement comes back. With the set timeout function, we can assign how long the delay should be. Think about the cases if we can't estimate how long the blocking I.O. operations could finish. It seems that we can't control the program flow, right? We will have answers to this question in the next video. In this video, we have learned that Node has a single threaded event loop running indefinitely to serve the requests. We also wrote some code to test the asynchronous behavior of Node.